Starting a business and confused about where to send your mail? You've got two great options, a registered agent and a virtual address. Though they sound similar, they do different things. In today's video, we'll explore the differences between a registered agent and a virtual address and see which one suits your business best. And by the way, if you would like to get professional legal help, I highly recommend you reach out to Northwest Registered Agents. They're professionals and they will be able to help you out. For your convenience, I left my affiliate link for their website down in the description of this video. Clicking on my link doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps me support the channel. And with that in mind, let's get started. Starting a business from the comfort of one's home is an increasingly popular choice for entrepreneurs worldwide. It offers the flexibility and convenience of working in a familiar environment. However, when it comes to the logistical aspects of running a business, such as giving out an address for client communication, website details, and official tax documents, many find themselves at a crossroads. The dilemma often lies between using a home address, which may not always feel appropriate due to privacy concerns and finding an alternative solution. Fortunately, there are options available, such as utilizing a registered agent's address or opting for a virtual address. Understanding the differences between these two choices is crucial for making an informed decision that best suits the needs of the business. In the bustling world of business, where each decision can steer the path of your enterprise, the choice between a registered agent and a virtual address is more than just about mail. It's about laying a foundation for professionalism and compliance. A virtual address opens up a realm of possibilities for businesses, especially those operating from the shadows of a home office. Imagine having an address in a prime business district without the overhead of physical office space. This is what a virtual address offers, a prestigious facade that welcomes mail and packages, lending an air of solidity to your business operations. It's not just about keeping your home address off public records. It's a strategy to project a professional image, making your business appear more established and trustworthy. From the practicality of filing taxes without mixing personal and business affairs to the ease of banking and state registration processes, a virtual address streamlines your operations. It bridges the gap between working from home and having a physical office space, ensuring that your business communication is seamless, secure, and separate from your personal life. On the other hand, a registered agent plays a crucial role in the legal side of your business, serving as the main points for all your important documents. Required by law for LLCs and corporations, the registered agent is your frontline defense against missing legal deadlines or notifications. Their physical presence within your business estate isn't just a legal formality. It's a safeguard ensuring that someone is always available to accept crucial legal and tax documents during standard business hours. This role can be fulfilled by various entities, whether it's yourself, an ally in your business journey, or a specialized service designed to navigate the complexities of legal notifications. The essence of having a registered agent goes beyond mere compliance. It's about peace of mind, knowing that your business won't miss out on important information due to travel or other commitments. The registered agent stands guard, ensuring your business responds promptly to legal challenges and state communications, thereby protecting your operations from unfair foreseen legal consequences. Now, the difference between a virtual address and a registered agent underlines a fundamental distinction in their purposes and implications for your business. A virtual address serves as a versatile postal recipient, embracing everything from customer inquiries to routine bills, enabling your business to maintain a professional demeanor without geographic constraints. In contrast, a registered agent is your legal guard, exclusively dedicated to managing official documents that bear significant consequences for your business's legal standing and operational integrity. The differentiation highlights the necessity of aligning your business with state mandates, ensuring that while your virtual address can cast a wide net across state lines, your registered agent remains firmly rooted within the legal boundaries of your business's domicile state. This balance between the practicality of a virtual address and the legal steward stewardship of a registered agent ensures your business thrives on both fronts, operational agility and compliance security. Choosing a virtual address over your home address can transform the path of your business, launching from a home-based operation to a venture with a reputable and professional image. The leap from using a personal address to a virtual one is not just about privacy. It's a strategic move that positions your business as a credible entity in the eyes of clients, partners, and even competitors. A virtual 
address eliminates the worry associated with sharing personal space with business operations, safeguarding against potential security breaches while enhancing your business's appeal. This decision embodies more than just operational efficiency. It reflects a commitment to crafting a business persona that resonates with professionalism, reliability, and respectability. A beacon for potential clients and a testament to your dedication to your business vision. The pathway to obtaining an employer identification number, EIN, underscores the pivotal role of your business address in the eyes of the IRS. This process outlines the distinction between the use of a registered agent's address and the necessity for a physical mailing address that reflects the operational reality of your business. Whether opting for a PO box or another tangible location, the emphasis is on ensuring a consistent channel for receiving crucial government communications. This critical step is not just about compliance. It's about establishing a reliable link between your business and the broader ecosystem of government oversight, tax obligations, and legal formalities. The choice of address for your EIN application mirrors the broader strategy of separating personal and business domains, reinforcing the importance of accessibility, reliability, and the strategic management of business communications and fostering a healthy, compliant, and thriving business entity. Ultimately, both a registered agent and a virtual address may play essential roles in a business operation, especially for those based out of home office. While they serve different purposes, both are crucial for maintaining privacy, ensuring legal compliance, and presenting a professional business image. Whether incorporating as an LLC or corporation, requiring a designated person for official documentation, or simply seeking an alternative mailing address, understanding the unique functions and benefits of a registered agent and a virtual address is key to making the best choice for the business needs. With services like Northwest Registered Agents offering comprehensive solutions for registered agents authorized in all 50 states, businesses can navigate these choices more easily, ensuring they meet their legal obligations while also maintaining their operational flexibility and privacy. And don't forget that if you would like to get professional legal help, I highly recommend you reach out to Northwest. I'm going to leave my affiliate link to their website down in the description of this video. Clicking on my link doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps me support the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.